Sunil Manji here, Senior Principal Solutions Architect at Elastic. Today's objective for the demonstration or the video is to show the integration pattern of OpenTelemetry to Elastic Service, which is a hosted instance. There's many different patterns here. We'll be discussing strictly the Open, the open Telemetry collector to Elastic Service. And obviously, the objective is this needs to be simple and rapid, right? For those of you watching or following along, want to get this up and running in a few minutes. This is for you. The assets that are leveraged within this demonstration or video have the links here. And obviously you'll need an elastic service, which is a hosted instance on any one of your cloud providers. So let's quickly discuss the pattern. App logs, traces, and metrics, super important stuff that OpenTelemetry gathers and sends over to the collector. Again, one of several patterns. And then once the open collector receives the data, it ships it downstream. There are a few different protocols that open collector likes to use. One is gRPC and the other one is HTTP. I have found that gRPC is a little bit more troublesome to load balance. This is general gRPC, nothing specific to Elastic. So therefore I'm using HTTP. Once the data comes over the apps, traces and metrics, that data is, comes over to the Elastic side and through the ingest pipeline, we convert that to ECS, which is the Elastic Common Schema. So to get started, you'll first need access to the repository. So head over to OpenTelemetry-demo, clone the repository to your local machine. Then head over to readme.elastic, gives you a little bit more information about what we'll be doing. I have this all covered in this demonstration. So once you have the repo cloned, head over to your Elastic Service instance. The home page, click on Add Integration and Elastic APM. Now you'll either see this, which means that you've already launched an APM server, and if not, there'll be a button here to go and create one. Super simple, as you can see, already done. Once I click on this link, since it has sensitive information, I'm going to share screenshots. Once you get to that page, you need to fetch the URL. This is your APM server URL. And then you scroll down further and you need to fetch the secret token. This will be used in the next steps. Now, to, now that you have those artifacts, you set that as an environment variable. So your APM server URL, set that, export that in Elastic APM server endpoint. And your secret token, export that into an environment variable, Elastic APM secret token. Now that these environment variables are set, let's take a look at how they're used. So let's head over to the source directory and open to, uh, open to, uh, hotel collector, excuse me, and to the extras. I'm going to cat this file. And you'll see here that they're using environment variables. Right, and that's how we're able to connect to the Elastic Service instance. Obviously, there may be more than one way to do this in setting environment variables. I'm just sharing with you what I prefer. Now that I have the environment set up and I demonstrated how they're used, go back to the to the root of the repo and issue a Docker compose up no build. This will take just a few moments. So the service is up. Now head over back, back over, excuse me, to the Elastic Service instance and see if you're receiving data. We'll head over to observability and overview. And you can see that I'm starting to stream data in. So let's take a look at a little bit about what, what we're getting out of the box. And this will continue to expand as more data comes in, as you can see, I'm refreshing it and more services are coming in. It's fantastic. So now I'm just going to browse it on a little bit. We'll take a look at the services. And here I'm interested in the product catalog service. And a ton of information here. But what I'm specifically interested in is the transaction. Here I can go down, scroll a little bit and see, oh, that's a little bit of interesting information. Well, let's say I want to investigate this particular trace. I cl click on trace logs. 
and here you go. This is the log associated with the trace. And now we're finished. It took just a few minutes to integrate OpenTelemetry Collector over to Elasticsearch Instance. So what do we do today? We downloaded the repo from OpenTel Demo. We simply pointed the collector over to the Elasticsearch Instance, fetched a couple of artifacts we needed, for example, the APM server URL and the secret, applied that to the configuration, started the service, and boom, you have an integrated suite. And now you're able to track the logs, metrics, and traces on Elastic. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks for joining.